Hey, everybody. Sorry, so this is take two or three. I just had to move spots because my office was having crappy reception, so I apologize. I know you guys only saw the first four minutes, um, and I appreciate it if you're still watching now, but I will go pretty quickly uh, to do this. I'm go I did record the last one, so it's uploading, and I'll post the whole video. So, hey, Gina. So, I may have my little son jump on with us because now I'm not hidden away where he would. So hi guys, again, oh, here he comes. Um, so my name is Alicia D. Paralisa. I'm an independent consultant and area manager. You wanna come up here? An area manager with Arbonne. Um, I'm also a pharmacist. I have, I know, it happens. Like I'm in the office where the back room is, the background is cute. But we get this background now. So this is, this is my little why. So you'll hear about him in a moment. Um, so, Anyways, I just got distracted, like, I need some mind help. You want to play with my computer? So I am a pharmacist. I have my doctorate of pharmacy, and I also have a bachelor's in pharmaceutical marketing and management. I graduated uh, Mass College of Pharmacy in 2006, so I've been a pharmacist ever since, um, and I've loved pharmacy. So, ooh, thank you. Oh, yep, yeah, Dada's going to take you. Goodbye. <laughs> Thanks, son. Um, anybody can do Arvon if you haven't figured this out yet and you can do it anytime. Um, so uh, I love pharmacy. I have been a uh, passionate uh, advocate for community pharmacy. Uh, I even won the uh, 2015 Pharmacist of the Year Award for Massachusetts. So that just tells you just a little snippet of how much I love pharmacy. Um, so kind of back back a few years ago, um, back in 2015, I had been a pharmacist for, for quite some time. Um, and I was living the retail community pharmacy life, guys, uh, at the three-letter chain. So if you know it, uh, you know how busy they can be. So my majority of my days were... Uh, running around, uh, filling hundreds of prescriptions, talking to hundreds of patients, but not having a lunch break or anything like that. So I would be, you know, running to the back really quickly and like scarfing down some cold pizza or something from Panera across the street that my technicians would run out and get me. Uh, or I would come home and just kind of like eat because I was like starving, right? Um, my normal water intake was never water. It was always a Pepsi. Uh, followed by a Red Bull sometimes. Um, if it was a weekend, it was two Red Bulls, so I don't know how I'm still standing here today. Uh, and, you know, I would send my... Um <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, sending my technicians over to Dunk's, and that's Dunkin' Donuts if you're not from New England. Uh, Dunk's to go get me a caramel swirl latte, extra caramel, but skim milk because I thought that made it healthy because what did I know, right? As a pharmacist, I knew nothing apparently. So that was kind of my daily routine, and it, and it, and it caught up with me. So... I know um, in the fall of 2015, my husband and I went to Scotland and we had an, an amazing trip. We decided to go to a hike um, to see the sunset over the city of Edinburgh uh, and it was awful for me. So it was like, you know, here's a hike, right? And then like, here's the ground or here's the ground. Here's a normal hike, right? This was like that. So there wasn't even any incline uh, and I was just out of breath. I couldn't do it. There was like literally like seven year olds like passing me and I was not just embarrassed, but I was like so upset with myself. I was just so upset that being in the healthcare profession, I allowed myself to not be healthy. Uh, and I realized I needed to change because when I was 19, my father passed of cardiomyopathy. He died at 43. So it was just, you know, a few years away now. Um, and I knew I needed, I needed to make a change and I didn't know what to do. I had seen a post from Liz DeLeo, who is, who, um, you know, sponsored me into Arbonne. She was actually one of my LKS sisters, uh, pharmacy fraternity, but she was one of my students. And I had seen her post some results of this 30 day thing. And I was like, okay, what were you doing? Were you working out every day? Were you going to the bathroom all the time? Cause I don't have time for either of those things. Um, and you know, she, she explained the 30 days to healthy living. So I was like, all right, I got to do this. I'm not doing it till after the holidays though. Cause like, let's be real. Um, like Christmas, New Year's, I need all those goodies. Right. Cause like, look how I was. Um, so I decided to jump in on January 3rd was the last time I had a Pepsi, um, and a caramel swirl latte. Uh, on January 4th, I started that challenge in that first month. I lost 17 pounds of toxic, toxic, uh, weight. And then within six months I had lost 50 pounds and I felt amazing. I, I looked at life differently. I felt differently. I started to get happier. I was dealing with stress better. Um, and, you know, a few months in, she, I was recommending so many p people to her. I always say patients. Uh, so many people to her. And she said, why don't you do this business? Like, 
you know, like you're already referring people. And I was like, I'm all set, Liz. Like, thanks. Get a doctorate. I'm good. I, you know, I'm working, working my, my jobs here. I teach at the school. I do this. Like, I don't need to, you know, become a consultant to make 10 bucks, right? Because it's kind of what I thought, right? Because I did not educate myself on, on this business model whatsoever. Uh, and that was silly of me because I... Ugh, I regret it. That's that's the regret, right? Is that you don't start it sooner. So, so fast forward a few months into me starting the products and being, you know, a product of the product, I finally was like, all right. And she's like, listen, you're gonna get a bigger discount when you're buying all this stuff. So I was like, oh, save me money. Like I'm a shopper to my poor husband. Uh, he hates it. I have so many things. They call me a glorified hoarder or a collector of many things. I love to shop and I love to get a deal. So I was like, okay, you know what? Let's sign up, get this discount. Awesome. So I started doing that, but then more people started buying and I was like, oh, this is fun. I'm getting like a paycheck and it's kind of paying for what I'm already using. So that's kind of cool. So I could balance like my love of these products and I started to expand into the other product lines. So it wasn't just the nutrition, but it was the skincare, it was the makeup, all the stuff that I used to waste so much money. Like I'm just reading people. Thanks. Thanks, Mara. Sorry, getting getting distracted. Um but yeah, like I was spending all this money at like Sephora. I would like drop so much money on makeup that like I literally use like once and I would never use again or I'd be at CVS and I'd be like oh Maybelline's on sale all this stuff's on sale so I was always buying all this stuff but never fully using it I would always have like those cosmetic graveyards of stuff so by becoming a consultant I was buying from my own store super smart getting a discount which I love but then I was getting money back so I was like oh this is this seems to be awesome so I stayed at district manager um, and I promoted very quickly to district manager it's something it's the first level of management we teach you to get there um, pretty quickly within like three months of your business and I did get there really quickly without having a team with me um, that pay you know that's kind of like a little bit of fun money paying off a bill or so it's that 250 to about a thousand dollars a month um, and I stayed at that mid-range for for quite a while because once again I didn't educate myself on you know the power of this business so fast forward two and a half years still a district manager right and I was like okay like that person just got their bends like this person is making like is quitting their job I don't want to quit my job I love being a pharmacist but I graduated with over $300,000 in student debt, uh, getting my my passion. Um, and I know there's so many people out there that have student loans. So it's like I graduated with a mortgage without having a mortgage uh, is what I what I always tell people. And, um, you know, when you're in school, you, you take out what you think you need and nobody's really there to tell you to, like, you know, curb it. Um, so you know, we live and we learn and then we find our bonds. So thankfully. Um, so I decided, you know what, I needed to, to kick this in. I have, I've done well in pharmacy. I've done well in teaching. So why can't I do this? I have a ton of amazing, amazing clients who have been buying this, but I never shared the business opportunity. Um, I had a few people on my team, including my mom, which I'm like super, super excited because we're the mom daughter duo. I feel like we're almost like the original of the, the OG mom, mom daughters. Cause now there's a, there's a ton of us and I love it. Um, but I wanted to have something for her too and me. So last summer I decided to kick it into high gear and see, you know what, at that next level, that area level, which is what Liz was when she introduced me, we can kind of almost match my, like one at the beginning, it's like an extra paycheck for us. So that's awesome, right? Like getting paid five times instead of four times. But at the higher end of area manager, it's matching my husband's salary, which is amazing because at the third level of management is where it matches my salary. So by not going to school, by not doing all these things, like, can you get that anywhere else? Guys, the answer is no, just to let you know. Um, so it was so amazing. So I decided that, you know what, I'm going to go area. And the other thing that was really important to me about going area is because this business is willable. So I mentioned earlier, um, you know, my dad passed when he was 43. He had a little bit of life insurance. Um, but it wasn't a lot at all, um, and poor investments and things like that. It, it didn't go far. It didn't actually go anywhere. Um, so I didn't want that for my son. Like, yes, we all have life insurance, but we pay into that life insurance, right? Here's the difference about Arbon. And if you are watching to this point now, just remember this. Arbon is a willable business, and there's no other company in the world globally that offers you a willable business. What does that mean? God forbid something happens to me. My team continues to build their team and share these products, and my clients still continue to buy on my personal website. I'm still going to have a paycheck that's going to come to Chris or to Cameron um, to send that down so that I can have peace of mind if I go to peace. 
like if I peace out, they're still going to get a check. Like that's insane to me. So if you are watching this and you're a district manager as well, like you better get your butt to area manager because it's so amazing. You also get like fun little gifts like Tiffany's. <laughs> oh yes. He's excited too. Um, but guys going area, I, I made it my mission. I had gone into, um, kind of a lot of activity, nothing like my full-time job, um, just a little bit more activity, getting more people to join my team and share even more products and change more people's lives. And that's kind of how it rolled into this. I made it my goal to finish area January 25th because January 25th was my dad's anniversary. Um, so that date was always really sad. It was, you know, 30 days from Christmas, right? One month later that happened and it changed our lives. Uh, so I wanted to have a happier Oh, like he cries on cue. It was like, perfect, right? Uh, I wanted to have a, a different memory for January 25th and uh, my team rallied and, and all of my clients rallied and, and we got there and now I have a willable business. I plan on being around for way longer because of obviously the 30 days to healthy living, but knowing that I was able to change my father's anniversary date to the date I, I had a willable business for my child, uh, it's there's there's no mindset that can change that until you get there uh and it's such a peace of mind so um that's where where I am right now and it's so exciting cuz my last paycheck was you know five digits we were able to put away a thousand dollars like we haven't we don't do that right you don't really save too much in that day to day when you're getting bills and things like that but it was so amazing that I was able to do that and I'm able to bring in extra money and not feeling like I'm taking away from my family and not taking away from my amazing job that I love the next level is um regional vice president which you know Liz thank god for her I uh, introduced me to Arbon and she just promoted to regional vice president which I'm so so proud of her that's the level where you're bringing in around $8,000 a month uh it's a level where you get the bends like hi I, I worked for a company for 18 years and they weren't giving me a car I still have my old car so you know I'm excited to go to do that because at that level I will be matching my own salary um what will that do? It's going to pay off my student loans right away, guys. I'm going to have that option and not have to worry about that. And it's like loans are like a noose around your neck, guys. And unless you are doing, I know there's a ton of things like the Dave Ramsey thing and stuff like that. And you're just putting all your money to get rid of your debt, but you're not getting anything else. Arbonne can let you have the, and the other things. You do not have to put your life on hold, right? You can do so much more because of Arbonne. It's just amazing, um, and I love it. As a pharmacist, like I want to be a pharmacist forever, um, but I don't want to work the nine to five until I'm sixty five, and that's what Arbonne is going to do for me. That fourth level, we call it the gangsta money, right? That is the national vice president level where you get to go to Hawaii and all these things, and you know it's amazing to have all the extras. It's amazing not to have to pay for those extras, but the amazing thing about this, and as a pharmacist. Um, this is really why I love Arbon. is I can go to bed at night knowing that anytime I recommend a product to somebody, I'm recommending something that's going to be pure, safer, and more beneficial than anything they can get out there. We ban over 2,000 ingredients, and that might be like, okay, whatever, but the U.S. bans under 20. They had two zeros with Arbon. you know, and that, that's a huge thing. There's so many um, cases of cancer, obesity, all of these things, um, and so much of it is due to the food we take in and the products that we put on our body. So as a pharmacist, I stand 110 million percent um, behind these products because I know they're the best for the business model. Guys, my biggest regret of this is not doing it sooner and not educating myself as to what this is. It's not some lipstick company. It's not just, I'm going to sell a bunch of one thing or the other. Are there sustainable products? They're consumable products. It's trending. Obviously, everybody wants to get healthier and use products that are safer for them. So this business is amazing. And it's as old as me. It was started in 1980, just like me. So it's been around. It's going to be around forever. And they do say that within the next five years, 70% of the people you know are going to be in direct sales or network marketing, which is what this is. Um, so if you haven't decided to, you know, dip those little toes in, now is the time. It's, it's an amazing opportunity. I love it. I share it with everybody I know because I know it's going to change so many people's lives. So if you're still watching this, please say thank you to the person that asked you because they're thinking super highly of you. Um, I wish I could like shout this onto the rooftops to everybody I know, but this is the best thing that's ever happened to me besides my, my husband and my son. Um, Arvon has given me so much more than I've ever given it. Uh, and 
it's just a it's a world of posit possibilities and positivities. So if you're going to work tomorrow and you don't have that world of possibilities, that world of positivities, um, you know, thank Arbon because it's really the best thing ever. So I want to thank Shane and her team and Kara for asking me to come on. I'm sorry earlier about the technology, but anybody can do Arvon, including me who doesn't know how to do technology at all. Um, so God bless you guys. Have a great Monday. Congrats to anybody who is running the marathon uh, and have an awesome night, guys. Thank you.